I like building impressive architecture, and because of that, the devs of Meet Your Maker have kindly sponsored this video. And yes, we will build something hopefully quite beautiful, but the game isn't just about beauty. It's about causing the most frustration to other players. This game is brutal, so I've been tasked to put my logical construction hat on and build a dungeon of torment for any of you who would like to try it out. Because Meet Your Maker is available on trial for free until July the 3rd if you're interested in checking it out and trying out my build. And if you're the person with the least deaths to defeat my dungeon and the quickest, I'll give you the title of Dungeon Master in the next video. But in order to build a deadly dungeon, we're going to have to unlock a few traps, so I'm going to have to level up my character by raiding a few dungeons. This one looks easy. Now, Meet Your Maker is a building game centered around building an impenetrable fortress, which other players can raid for valuable resources like we're doing now and experience. And whilst they do that, we're going to be doing the same to theirs. However, if you're not quick enough, you'll die a quick and painful death and have to start from the beginning again and again. Oh. And well, you get the point until we find the gen material. And after that, run the gauntlet back to the exit and go back to our base. From there, we'll be able to unlock new stuff and scale up our builds. Thankfully though, after a few tries, we're able to scavenge enough resources and experience to unlock some new stuff, whether that's weapons such as the Demolition Cannon, which has been released in this week's update, Dreadshaw, as well as traps and guards for our base, which we're going to need a lot of. And now that I've unlocked the Demolition Cannon, we should be able to rank up a little bit quicker. What I love about this is that you can get so creative with your builds, should you wish. Let's have a look up here. Trustful. Are we, do we need to get up there? Do I trust the guy? I don't trust the guy. We're going to place one of these just here. Oh! That was pretty cool to be fair. Just farming the resources. Here you go. And it looks like it's a pretty... I think that's it. Do we choose to go through the build or back up? I think going back up... The way we... <laughs> Oh, oh, they made it really easy for us. That's very kind of them. Oh, <laughs> made me jump. <laughs> Apparently everything we are doing is for this weird thing. Apparently it needs a cure. I don't know. I feel it's some kind of evil dictator. Anyway, let's find another mission. Oh, this is cool. Huh. That was close. I love the creativity of this one. Maybe we'll have to do something inspired by this. Oh, oh, I knew that was coming. I just didn't drop fast enough. Ooh, sneaky. <laughs> oh, it does get your heart racing. Really well made there. Oh, sneaky. Oh, and this is the new armor that comes with the Dreadshaw DLC. Nice. At this point, we're ready to build our own base. 
Now we only have these available to us. We can refresh using up our resources here. Unfortunately, if we do that, we won't be able to afford anything because the minimum is 750. Um, we have, this is a capacity of 1,500. This one, 750. So depending on what we want, we can go really small or pretty small. The rest are slightly bigger. So I have already unlocked a load of traps and um, guards, as you've seen. Oh, this is interesting. This is our space that we have to work with. And we're obviously going to have a nice little entrance sorted. But we only have 1,500 blocks available to use. Each one of these is one block. And then our traps can cost anything from 10 to 70. Yeah, it's pretty expensive. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is to close this in. I want to do that so that we can limit the space in which other people, like yourself, can run around in. At this point, we've laid out the foundations and filled everything in. The only thing we haven't done is uh, filled in this section. I thought it would be quite nice to allow people just to go and grab that and we'll block this all off because, I mean, everyone wants free resources, right? Um, and then we'll have the entrance down through here and head nicely towards this. We are going to make it a little bit more complicated, but we have to be careful because we only have a few, well, 1,000 blocks available to use. We do want to do something quite cool on the front. What about something like this? We can also rotate these to have different materials, which is nice. Ooh, I kind of like that, actually. Yeah, this looks quite in inviting, doesn't it? So I've decided to go for some kind of gothic church as the inspiration, and then maybe it going into some kind of, I don't know, evil lair be beneath it. Uh, but we we're going to play around with it a little bit more. Oh, we can hide preview. That's what I wanted. Uh, you can see that you, you come in here and then we're going to go down into here, which is where the uh, traps will start to begin. Okay, I'm enjoying the build mechanics too much and uh, <laughs> we're building a full on cathedral here. We somehow need to fit some uh, <laughs> traps in this. But I am liking how this is coming. We will change the materials around eventually. Um, I'm not sure what to, for example, we can do something like that. But I need to play around with that a little bit more yet. So I've been working on the system and I'm pretty happy with it. We've got a, a few surprises installed for the would-be attackers. And we're down to our last 500 capacity, which Seems all right, given it's a third of the amount of uh, capacity that we have. But I'd really like to trap this room out. And I think we can start off by using these to create an impassable area. So they have to go down this route. We've also got some dark ones, so they can't see what's about to happen. And I'm thinking maybe having the bolt shot there so that when you come up, unless you're really quick eyed, you're not gonna see that. And along with that, the guards, not those ones, but these ravagers, they have like a, a shotgun almost, fires bolts that spread out. And I, I think if we have one here, two more up here, this could be really sneaky and catch the odd person out. Along with, I think we're gonna need some incinerators. This looks quite deadly. Shall we give this a go? So we're coming up here. Oh, that hasn't triggered. Took him out. Ah, no. I misclicked. I swear I misclicked. Okay, we'll try that again. From here. There we go. 
head up here. Oh! Ah! Ah! No! Run! No! Okay, so maybe I got a little bit nervous. <laughs> no! <laughs> if we can get two deaths from each person who tries this, I'll be quite happy. At this point, we're going around doing the last finishing touches. I want to add some lighting just to make it feel like it's a, a passageway going down. Ooh, yeah, this is, this feels quite dark. I'm quite happy with how this is. I'm going to add some more finishing touches to this and then we will set this free. Our build is now ready and I'm really happy with how it looks. Uh, the only thing I will say though is we had to strip back all of the unnecessary resources. So all of this is just a, a fake facade. So don't look behind there. But we do have the whole build and I must admit I'm pretty happy with how dark and demonic it looks downstairs. In fact, we will run through this. I won't show you the whole build because I want it to be a little bit of a surprise as we can set this to social so all of you who want to can actually check it out yourselves. I am really happy with how this looks. Ah, oh, so we start off in the, the chapel, I guess, and you can see how we've added lots of lighting. And as we start getting deeper in, you can see we have I don't know, gore growing like mold uh, from the side of the walls. And it's going to gradually get more and more. But I love how this adds sound so that it kind of obscures what may be ahead, such as down here. I think I'll call this spot Inferno as we're getting down into the depths to this corridor filled with uh, growths. Just, I love the atmosphere. Ooh. Ooh, these have all gone red. That's cool. I think perhaps the next video will do a much bigger one based on these ideas, but we'll, we'll have a look. Maybe we'll just improve on, on this. Let's see how it does in the public eye. So it would seem we've already got eight kills. It's just the start and we do need to unlock more before we can do some more advanced traps, which will be really cool in the next video. But it is time that we allow you guys to play this as well. I must admit, I'm super happy with this and glad to get it out into your hands. Uh, just so you know, it's called Mountain View. We're going to set it to social now so that you can find this world and give it a go yourself. And let me know what you think about it in the comments. How can we improve it? But I just, I love the new setting with the Dreadshore DLCs Tempest Cove outpost. I just love how gloomy and dark it looks. Also, how great the, the lighthouse looks in the background. But guys, I'm going to leave it there. Please do check out this map. Let me know your thoughts on it as we're going to be covering this again and seeing some of your runs in the next video. But guys, we are going to leave it there. If you did like this video, please hit the thumbs up. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. Special thanks does go to the dev team at Meet Your Maker for sponsoring this video. And of course, special thanks does go to our amazing supporters on Patreon, most notably our solo clips patrons, James Irwin, Fireflesh, and Treble, as well as our Lunas, the Calamity, Ben, Star, Shoku, the MN Wolf, and that dude AW, as well as our Blood Moon of the Day, which today is Dashlom. Until next time, as always, ciao for now.